What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and you've been blowing up my Instagram DM lately. You've been requesting that new Kylie Jenner look, the one that she's posting on her Instagram a lot lately. It's taken by that photographer named Amber Asali and um, she's been doing that vintage type, really low contrast look and I worked on it as soon as I got all of your DMs and I think I figured out how to recreate this look using your smartphone and the free Lightroom app only. Now if you don't want to toggle along to the whole tutorial, I made a preset on exactly this new Kylie Jenner look. It's on my website, the link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack along with over 70 different presets for you to really upgrade your Instagram game. There's a Kim Kardashian rose gold. Kendall Jenner, Selena Gomez, Dua Lipa, Polaroid looks, a lot of stuff to really get you to that next level. So check that out for sure. And if you haven't already, also subscribe to this channel and hit the notifications bell because it makes me super happy if this channel keeps growing as it does right now. So make sure to subscribe and you can DM me on Instagram anytime, at Stephen Womack is my handle. If you have new requests or new ideas, something that you've been thinking about a lot, a look that you want to recreate, just let me know and I'll try to reply as fast as I can. I'll try to figure out how to create that. Now I've said enough, let's jump right into this tutorial. The first thing we'll need is your smartphone of course and then I want you to open the free Lightroom app. Now I've chosen this picture of Kendall Jenner, her sister, um, in the house because the pictures that Kylie Jenner did are in the house as well and the lighting situation comes pretty close to this. As you can see, it's also taken with a mobile phone, not a really uh, professional camera or anything. So let's start editing. The first thing you wanna do in the lights tab is hit the curve on the upper right right here and create this curve, recreate it as it is right here. Just pull up the shadows on the bottom left and pull down the highlights on the upper right a little bit. And then in between, create some more nodes and just try to get that slight S curve. Now once you have your curve, looking exactly like it does right here. The picture should really flatten out and go from this as the original to this flat look. And then we're done here. And now the next thing you want to do is pull down the highlights a little bit to around negative 13 right here. And the shadows, we want to raise them to plus, let's say 34 is good. And the whites, we want to pull them down to negative 23 and raise the blacks a little bit to around plus four is perfect. Now we're done with the lights, we go over to the color and here we just wanna boost the temperature a little bit to plus eight right there and the tint, we wanna pull that down to negative nine and then scroll down to the saturation and pull that down all the way to negative 26 right here. Now we scroll up and hit the color mix right there and go to the red tones on the left and now for the red tones, the hue, we just want to boost that to plus 22. And the saturation, boost that as well to plus, let's say, 25. And then the luminance, we also want to brighten that up to plus 26. That's perfect. Now the orange tones, what you want to do is pull down the hue to negative 3 and the saturation up to plus 16 to get those skin colors back in. And then the luminance, we just want to boost that all the way up to, in this case, plus 64, 65. Depending on your skin tone, you might uh, not want to go as bright as here, but for this picture, it works totally fine. And then we go over to the yellow tones, and here we just want to pull down the saturation. You'll see it uh, affecting the background, the walls, all the way to negative let's say 85 is good and we cleared out the walls so we're done here and the next thing you want to do is go over to the effects panel and then just pull down the clarity to around negative 7 and dehaze to plus 22 to get a little bit of that crisp back and then we want to add a little vignette that's that dark circle around so it kind of looks like it's taken with flash so we pull this down to negative 19 right here and then we scroll down and want to add some grain to around 21 is good to get that picture grainy as in that Kylie Jenner look and then we scroll up and hit the split toning on the upper right and here for the highlights I want you to pull over 
to a hue of all the way, let's say around 305 is good. So a hue of 305 and a saturation of, in this case, 10 works good. So it's 306 and nine, that works as well. And for the shadows, I just want you to pull the hue over to around to that green area to 120 and a saturation of 10 as well so it's 121 and 10 perfect and now the balance we just want to push that towards the highlights to plus 32 in this case and now this is the the look we got the color right we got the the contrast right we got the grain so the next thing we just want to do is as you can see the walls in the background are super choppy from all that color change and we can straighten that out by hitting the detail section right here and scrolling down to the noise reduction and we just want to pull that up to around 22 and color noise reduction to around 23 is perfect and this is it this is the new kylie jenner inspired edit here's a little before and after and i think we came super close to that real kylie jenner look and if you have troubles following along to the tutorial i've also created a preset on exactly this kylie jenner inspired look it's on my website the link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack where you can find over 70 different filters or uh, lightroom presets that can really easily change your pictures from basic to really exciting so check that out there's Kim Kardashian, Rose Gold, Selena Gomez, Kendall Jenner, Dua Lipa, Polaroid looks, everything that you can think of. So check that out. And if you have new requests, DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack. Check me out there too. I'm always open for conversation. So really feel free to DM me um, if you have any ideas or requests for new videos. And if you haven't already, it would mean a lot to me if you just subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on my future tutorials because maybe it will be one of your requests. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace.